Hi everyone, my name is Rajeshekar. Welcome to my channel. This video is about version 2 of Virtual Studio DMX template. A lot of changes has been made in the set. I'll walk you through it. So to begin with, people who are new to DMX in Unreal Engine and Camsys, do check out the description of this video. For order of tutorials, you need to watch to understand the basics and workflow and then get back to this one. Once you have downloaded the copy of this template, make a backup of it and then place the Camsys show file in documents magic queue show folder the name would be vsv2 show file which i'll be sharing you once that is done you can run this unreal engine map and then the camps uh, show file to be loaded in your program and if you have installed campuses for the first time so there is a shot in my youtube channel this is the one which addresses the common issues between unreal engine and campuses so let's get started the version one will no longer be available once this uh, video is out so people who have already purchased version 1, you will be given a free access to this version 2 as well. Do request for access and I'll uh, give it to you. So let's uh, talk about the changes which has been uh, made to the set. You can right away notice comparing the version 1, the version 2 has a lot of difference in terms of the, how the set looks. I have turned off all the mod lights which were all across the set. You could notice a mod light here, there on the floor, and especially on the ceiling. Everything has been darkened and possibly what I've done is I've not deleted them. I've kept them all in a layer and I've stopped them from rendering. So this is how you can go to layers. You can right click, select actors, details. And you can go to rendering if you want them back. Turn on the visibility. So as you can notice, these were all the mod lights all across the set earlier. Somewhere I felt they were over dominating the DMX lights. Uh, so I decided to stop them from getting rendered. If you want to turn them off, go to layers, mod lights again, right click, select actors, details, and then in rendering, turn off the visibility. Okay. In that way, our heroes, which is DMX lights, they get all the attention. So let's discuss about the lights changes to the set right now. As soon as you load the campus show file, uh, you'll see this layout. So the layout one is a maxed out view of um, all the light groups. Layout 2 is a default uh, 4 window layout. Layout 3, I've kept it for uh, executors, currently it's empty. At the bottom of the screen, the first element in every page is your music fader, which is for your timeline. Four pages of pre-programmed lights, which I've kept it here. We'll get back to this shortly. Let's begin from here. I've kept some light on the wall like this. Left and then right. You notice there are lights in this fashion. I have designed this layout exactly based on how the map looks. So left and right. That's about the wall sharpies on left and right. Let's uh, get to this part. So left and right flow and there are sharpies again. And I've placed sharpies on the top. So there are about seven layers of sharpies. These are Sharpies on the rear top, in the middle. And at any point, uh, if you don't find some Sharpies, after, even after locating, they don't come up. You can go to Unreal Engine Outliner and search for Sharpie, Details, drop this value to any value of your choice and get back to 3000 again. And in the event, if you find 3000 is too much, you can also reduce it collectively for all Sharpies, you can reduce it to 2000 or increase. You can play with this value however you like. So right from changing laser color or any um, aspect of uh, Sharpie for that matter or any lights for that matter, you have a total control in uh, Unreal Engine. And again, you can customize this to all your liking. You can create more new groups and play with this uh, pre program fader. Just that I've given you a sample for you to work it out right away. So that's about the Sharpies in the rear top. And there are Sharpies in the ceiling. And there are Sharpies placed in this fashion on the glass. And here's the ring. Ring Sharpies also have reduced uh, the number quite a bit. Because earlier it was way too much. That has been reduced. I have to remove the Sharpies from here because they both were overlapping each other. So that's about the Sharpies in the middle. And if you select all the Sharpies, that's how they look. A random pyros, same like before, there's no changes to them and strobe lights remains the same left and right 
and I've added the additional lasers. These were earlier laser groups. That's I've kept them as separate group, and these are additional lasers which I've kept. Some four here. You can play with the position or even increase the number as you like. So that's about the light changes and where they've organized in version two. Let's quickly look into the pre-programmed faders in the bottom of the screen. And at any point, you can also change the speed, color using the uh, ink and update uh, function, which I've already demonstrated before. But let me show you one more time. In the event if you feel like this has to be slowed down, what you can do is you can drop the fader, press on ink, click on the Sharpie, any effects which you want to change, and you can go to program. And you can reduce the speed. You can say right now it's on 10 seconds, point 10 seconds. You can set it to 0.15 seconds and you can see the speed has gradually reduced and also color you can right away change it you can go to layout 2 and set this to any color of your choice and then finally do not forget to click on update and now when you clear and when you play that fader the changes gets affected Those were the changes made to the version 2 of this template. Hope you all liked it. If you are interested to purchase this template, you can click on the download link in the description of this video and request for access. I'll email you back. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar. Bye.